Hey guys, welcome back to the Fig Tree. Today is the 12th Sunday, 2023. How are you? Praying your strength in the Lord, that you're persevering, that you're running the race and fighting the good fight. I am praying that you are laying aside every weight that presupposes that you have weights to lay aside. I'm praying that you're laying them aside to the praise of the, of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the praise of his glory, that godliness and contentment is great gain upon you. I have a warning to share. Watchmen warn. I've warned on this before, and I want to warn on it again, but this time I was shown to warn on it with a bit more emphasis. Uh, this will be my second time warning on this, but over the years. But I want to be obedient. Uh, I was shown this quite strongly, and uh, I want to be obedient to that. So you want to share this warning to those to whom it applies, okay? Watchmen warn. And the thing with watchmen is that they're not going to tell you everything that you want to hear. Just ask Jeremiah. Ask, you know, ask... Isaiah, okay? Ask Ezekiel, okay? Ask these men. Ask Hosea, when the whole nation was given over to great harlotry. It wasn't even normal harlotry. It was great. And, and as I said before, this word great is, is a real word. Great harlotry always comes first. And riding right after that, that great harlotry is great tribulation, right? The Lord will judge. He's not going to stand by and let that wickedness go on. God is a good person, okay? He's a good person, and a good person who is intrinsically good. Now, he's more than just a good person. God is holy. He stands alone in that holiness, okay? And because he's holy and righteous, he has to send that correction, especially when great harlotry is at play, okay? So I have a warning, a warning to share, and um, it's an unusual warning. I've warned on it before, uh, about a year ago, some, somewhere around that time frame, but wanted to warn again. <clears throat> he told me to warn yet again, okay? So, uh, and I'll be sharing a bit more information this time because it'll come with a, with why I'm warning. Uh, in the past, I just gave this warning out, but I'm going to be sharing uh, a few things. Pharmakia, I've mentioned this before, okay? This warning is about uh, the socially approved, fully domesticated, food-based uh, drug used in nearly 99% of all households. 99%, 3 out of 4, 9 out of 10, okay? Um, this is something that actually slows the blood flow to your brain. I'm going to be including uh, videos in the, in the link in the description box for you to look at, okay? Don't take my word for it. I, you know, you're going to be learning about this um, as well. But I want to warn on this because this is intense. This is quite strong. I got this warning very strong in my spirit. Uh, material that God does not want to see among his bride. The world will be the world. The world will be the world. I'm talking about the wise virgins. I'm talking about the bride. I'm talking about cleanup. All right? Because there is something that is uh, in situations damaging, especially to the brain, to your cerebral cortex, to the gray matter. We're going to talk about all of this. Okay? But uh, I want to warn on pharmakia. I've warned on it before. I want to warn on it again. Okay? First, uh, you are going to want to take a look at the, in the description box, there is a video. I should have it at the top. Um that you could take a look at it. Uh, it's in the playlist as well. I think it's three, three or four videos for you to look at, okay? Visit the playlist. I'll, I'll put it in the, in the description box. Uh, Wake Forest Baptist Center, uh, they showed this. I want to talk about caffeine. I want to talk about your cerebral cortex and the blood flow to your brain, all right? MRIs don't lie. We know about MRIs, good for imaging inside the body. They don't lie. They're, they're, not, they're, they're not biased, okay? And uh, when you look at the video, you're going to see here that it slows the blood flow to your brain by about 40%. Caffeine, it happens instantly, all right? There's no safe amount to this drug. I've known this for years. I've tried to be neutral. I've tried to just, you know, give a soft disclosure on it and say, okay, it's not that good for you. You know, you're going to want to stop it when you're on a, when you're on a prayer, deep dive, stimulants aren't good. And now it's, you need to tell them, you need to tell them everything that you know about it. So I'm going to do my best to, to break down caffeine and why you are not going to ha want to have this thing anywhere next to you, especially consuming it. All right. That's not something that you want to consume. It does affect your brain. It changes your neural brain activity. Specifically, my biggest beef with it is that it slows the blood flow to your brain by about 40%. MRIs don't lie. All right, and more importantly, this video is hard to find. It's almost scrubbed off the internet completely. All right, because the powers that be don't want you to know that this material consumed by everyone, 9 out of 10, it does slow the blood flow to your brain. And newsflash, what's in the blood? <laughs> nutrients, minerals, oxygens, and everything you need. 
slows it to the brain by 40 percent okay so let me let me let me break this down okay and again you could access this video okay it's right in the description box this was filmed right on the news this is free information it's not even hidden this was on the news for years this is not hidden information. It's right out there in the open. But I get it. I get it. You know, most of the information you're going to hear on the coffee bean and caffeine is that it's great for you. It's not. It's 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 not. It is pharmacia, and I'm going to try to prove that to you. And more importantly, I heard it very strongly in my spirit again. MRIs don't lie. They effectively show accurate imaging inside the body. All right. They don't lie. This is not open for your opinion. All right, this is specific, specific information that you're going to want to know and to avoid. Now, I was told to warn about pharmacia as well, but there's real physical changes that this will do to your body, to your brain specifically. Okay, if the video is on the playlist, please, please watch it. Watch it a few times. Okay, then do your homework because I'm going to give you some information. It's more than just the loss of blood flow to your brain by 40%. Your brain's connected to your toes, to every organ in your body. You slow that blood flow down, you're slowing the blood flow down to a number of things, okay? Caffeine directly hurts your brain health. It is pharmacia. It does a lot to the body that is not good. You're not going to hear about this information on your own. I've known about this for years. I'm going to encourage you to look into this information on your own as well. You're going to need a VPN because this, if you're looking at the screen, these people are going to redirect your search engine results. They're going to send you a whole bunch of lying articles saying that caffeine is great for you, coffee is great for you. It's not. I mean, there's a tens of thousands of articles bought and paid for that are going to tell you what you need to know. Lies. Okay? This material is not good for you for a few reasons. Number one, it does slow the blood flow to your brain All right, by around 40%. Some studies will say 30%. Uh, MRIs say 40%. All right? And you can look at that in the description box for yourself. Now, uh, caffeine and nicotine. Okay? They're disturbingly similar, their chemical composition. Okay, they're like twins. All right, they, they kind of do the same thing. They're both engaged in pharmacia. I've been gentle and neutral on this, but now I'm going to give you um, what I've been hearing in the spirit for years and then what I know um, just intellectually. Okay, uh, yes, I'm a Bible teacher, uh, but I, I also. I, I come from a background that is well-learned. You know, I'm well-learned in, in multiple fields, okay? So I, I ran across this in my field of studies a couple of years ago, okay? I want to talk about pharmacia. Now, I just heard this this morning, okay? Actually, it was uh, last night, all right? And um, I have to, to be obedient to, to Daddy. He wanted me to warn. He doesn't want this among his bride, among his very own. This is the shout to come out of her, my people. Uh, it's domestic. It's It's what we do, okay? Now, the Greek word for pharmakia, all right, it's, we have it in our Bible as uh, sorcery, okay, it's wizardry, all right, uh, the, uh, we, we, we know this as pharmakia, that's what it looks like in the Greek, okay, and um, it's in the Hall of Fame, it's in the Hall of Fame, top sins to avoid, Galatians chapter 5, verse 20, I call it the Hall of Shame, or the Hall of Fame, um, you, you, you want to stay out of these sins mentioned in Galatians chapter 5, verse 20. All right? right next to it, right next to idolatry in Galatians 5, 20 is the word pharmakia. It's sorcery, wizardry. Friends, you don't want anything to do with that. It's, it's, it's even mentioned before hatred and jealousy and outbursts of wrath. You're screaming at people, you're yelling. None of this material is good. It's all bad. All right? These are the works of the flesh. This is dark material. And, and when it comes to sorcery, that's pharmakia. All right, so let's talk about this. Why am I saying this? Number one, I was told to warn. Uh, number two, I've known this for years. Uh, number three, caffeine is psychoactive. Now I'm going to give you a little bit, of, uh, just a little bit. Do your own homework. Okay? Caffeine is psychoactive. This is literally the, I'm giving you, and I'm not even giving you my opinion. I'm giving you the definition. Look it up. Please. Caffeine is psychoactive. It is a literal mind-altering drug consumed every morning by untold millions. It is literally a psychoactive mind-altering drug. By definition, I'm not giving you my opinion. Look it up, please. Have a VPN. Go and do your homework, please. 
It's mind-altering. That is, by definition, pharmakia. Literally, we were warned not to touch this material, especially not to drink it in the morning or at night. Don't touch it. Come out of her, my people. It's, it's caffeine. All right, mind-altering drugs. Caffeine is the most potent psychoactive stimulant, a class of stimulant drugs. Right next to it is uh, nicotine. Okay, caffeine's uh, many, it's, it's more potent than, uh, than nicotine. Okay, it should not be consumed. Okay, for, for those of you who want to know more about caffeine, again, watch them in warm. The only reason you feel good after you're having, drinking one of these liquid-based, food-based drugs that have stimulants in it is because it is the most powerful stimulant in the entire world. Why do you think they put caffeine in all those supplements? All right, it's a stimulant. It's psychoactive. It stimulates your entire central nervous system. Uh, it gives you the flight or fight response. It's a stress response. You go into hyperdrive instantly. Okay, stimulants do this, and they do it immediately. Okay, stimulants do this by activating those two neural transmitters. Okay, epinephrine and norepinephrine. Okay, very very important to know. Stimulants are drugs. They will stimulate and activate your entire your your flight or fight. Your, your central nervous system, that's why you feel good. But then you need more because it starts to wear off. It is a drug. Okay? It's the world's most potent psychoactive stimulant. Okay? And it's socially approved. It's domesticated. And people do this every single day. They go into pharmacia. Uh, it's it, not only that, but it, it literally affects your cerebral cortex. I'm going to prove it to you. The MRI shows that, it's, that it affects y your brain Im immediately. The brain gray matter. Okay? Gray matter, very, very important. The studies, that's another thing. Google caffeine in your brain gray matter. Learn your cerebral cortex. That's your critical thinking. Caffeine affects your cerebral cortex. The gray matter to your brain. Studies have shown that it reduces it. Your gray matter. I don't need to tell you how important your gray matter is in your brain. All right? It stimulates these things. It starts to change the pathways and, 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 and reduce the blood flow and oxygen is in the blood and oxygen is very important to your brain. It slows it down. MRI sh shows this. Okay, let's move on. Not all food is meant to be eaten. All right, especially these, you know, toxic mushrooms, for example, you know, you, you eat the wrong one and you're, you're going to see your maker very quickly. Okay, you don't eat certain foods. Certain foods have alkaloids and things that are in it that are very, very bad. Okay. And it's the same thing with the coffee bean, okay? It has many, many things that are in it, like caffeine, the world's most strongest stimulant, psychoactive nervous system stimulant that engages you, that it gives you the flight or, or fight. It literally pumps you full of artificial energy, drug-based, highly addictive stimulant. That's why, that's why you can't break free from it. Many people, oh, I, I forgot my... You, many people can't even use decaf by accident. They go into a withdrawal just by using decaf. Uh, you can't move. It paralyzes you. How is that not a false a false god right there? I, you know, this is different from needing your cheese steak or a good ribeye steak. You need your caffeine in order to function. How is that not? This is... There's so much to this. I don't even know if I can cover this all. But listen, nicotine and caffeine are almost identical in their chemical structure. The way they impact the body, the way they impact the, your cerebral cortex. I've done my research. I know my homework. I, I run into these years ago. Okay? I'm warning just because I heard this yet again. Now, I'm not talking about the world. The, wor the world will always be the world. I, I warned about nicotine. It is pharmacia. I, I warned about caffeine. It should not be used in a fast, in my opinion. I was told to share that, uh, both for me personally and for others. But now the warning's coming down again. Father does not want to see his bride consuming world-class, powerful stimulants known as caffeine. It is very, very, very potent. It is almost identical to nicotine. In many ways, even stronger. It will addict you. And it's not just about you being addicted. I've already shown via the videos that I'll have in the, in the description box. It is hurting your brain, your gray matter, your cerebral cortex, your critical thinking. Okay, now it does other things. We're going to talk about it as well. Caffeine does a lot, a long list of things. Just hang out. I'm going to be breaking it down to you because it, I've told on this in conferences when I was able to, 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 to walk and be a bit more free, especially in, in the outdoors. I'd go to the colleges and I'd talk for two hours on this. Okay? 
well known among among your again let's let's see if I can continue here it's domesticated but just because it's domesticated doesn't mean that this is a world-class powerful stimulant that lays hold of your brain in a way that is not good it's pharmacia it's deliberate it's premeditated and this is why you're not going to know to know the truth about it oh you're, you can have 800 milligrams a day and it's perfectly fine for you liars oh well, it's good to have 500 no there is no safe amount no safe amount okay of this drug it is a stimulant and not just a any ordinary stimulant it's the strongest one in the world all right coffee makes more purchase money than uh, what is it i think only oil in economics beats out coffee everyone consumes this it's nine out of ten households again let's let's move on here let's talk about this um i want to make sure that i get all of this information it is a very very powerful stimulant it's the, it's the strongest one in the world it is psychoactive mind altering and it's instant that's why in the videos um, at Wakefield, uh, you know, when they were doing the MRI test, the lady drank one, uh, one cup, just one cup a day will change your brain. Just a sip, the way it interacts as a psychoactive drug, it is a drug. How people can be okay drinking this, go, go do your homework, please. Do your homework on caffeine in your cerebral cortex. I want you to do that. That's your homework. Research it. It's good to have a VPN because they'll try to redirect you your cerebral cortex, your brain gray matter, and then research how caffeine interacts with that. There is no safe, acceptable way. You don't want to have your your gray matter in your brain is very, very delicate, very easily uh, damaged or disturbed. Caffeine changes it in a way that's not good. And especially the blood flow, cerebral blood flow. The blood flow to your cerebral cortex. The MRI shows that it was around 40%. And that video is not even... You'll be hard pressed to find that video online. That's why I tried to find it for you. Okay, uh, Father wanted me to show, and that's just the physicality of it. That's just your physical. Um, there is a spiritual reality too. Yeah, the blood flow. It's the vaso. It's the vasoconstriction. Okay, vasoconstriction. Um, that's not good. You don't want to. You don't want to go into vasoconstriction. That's where it, uh, your capillaries actually narrow, kind of tighten and constrict. Your blood. Your blood vessels are very important. Okay, when you have a neural stimulant that produces cerebral vasco, vasoconstriction by antagonizing adenosine receptors, not good, not good, not good. You're not going to hear this. You're only going to hear, oh, caffeine's so good for you. You can have 800 milligrams a day. You can have 500 milligrams a day. You, no, none of it. It's, it's all bad. Just a sip. Listen to the video. Okay, just a cup of this material. It is a neural stimulant. And if you, among, if you belong among the bride, the warning is cast it out pluck it from you he doesn't want to see it among his praying wise virgins he does he doesn't want it i was told to warn if it slows the blood flow to your brain especially the cerebral cortex okay if it slows it there is no <laughs> well that's that's acceptable 40 percent is okay it's not okay what good parent would sit by and watch his kids hurt themselves on purpose while they're being lied to by the rest of the world all right the depopulation agenda is very real depopulate Okay, slowing the blood flow to your brain by 40%. That's going to slow the rest of the blood flow to your to your body. Your brain, <laughs> your brain, I think we all agree, is connected to every part of your body. Every part of the body. Why are you tired? Why are you fatigued? Well, I'm perfectly fine. I, you know, I'm, I'm 25 years old and I drink this. It doesn't matter how good you feel right now. I'm telling you that this is hurting you. The blood flow to your brain, and more importantly, the pharmacia side of it. Spiritual, opening doors that shouldn't be open, okay? Uh, changing how your brain interfaces. Your, your central nervous system getting hijacked and stimulated artificially. It shouldn't be named among his bride. The world will be the world. You let the world do its thing, okay? And look, I'm not talking about medications, okay? There are people out there that need medications in order to stay alive, okay? There's different types of medications. You don't have a thyroid. Maybe your organs don't work, and you're going to need a medication. Uh, that, that, that's, that's between you and the Lord, you know? That's okay. That, that's between you and the Lord. I'm talking about <laughs> something addictive. Medications. Not all medications are even addictive. There's, there's things that are, that are out there that are very... I'm talking about psychoactive, domestic, breakfast food 
stimulant addiction that alters your mind, a psychoactive, highly addictive drug substance, far more addictive, I, I believe, than even nicotine, okay? And people are drinking this for breakfast throughout the day. Oh, no, it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm starting to get tired. Okay, let's go for my cup of this. Let's get my cup of caffeine, please. You don't even know what you're doing. I'm warning. Watchmen warn. Watchmen warn. And not, of our, not all of our warnings are going to be something you're going to want to hear. You're going to need to lay this aside, especially as things start to crash all around us. Come out of her, my people, is a very real statement, okay? And again, that's why you hear only the good things about it. I mean, the, uh, the, the coffee barons, these people that have billions upon billions of dollars, oh, the science is paid for, bought and paid for. They're going to tell you how great it is without telling you that it slows the blood flow to your brain, to your cerebral cortex, by around 40%, that it's highly addictive, that it will addict you and engage your central nervous system in a way that is not healthy, that it's pharmacia, spiritually. It's not, again, and not only that, but it affects your brain's, your, your gray matter, which is, it's disturbing. Yeah, it's called vasoconstriction, okay? You don't want to antagonize your adenosine receptors. That'll, there's so many problems to this. Again, this is my field of, you know, I, I ran into this, years ago, but spiritually speaking, I keep, I, keep, I keep hearing this. I keep hearing it. The bride. The bride. He doesn't want to see it among his bride. Just giving you a few reasons as to why you're going to want to avoid this, this liquid breakfast item that is a domesticated, socially approved drug that will, ad and it will addict you. And even if you're not addicted, you're harming yourself with every cup. And it's not okay. Okay. Watchmen warn. Caffeine and trace minerals, let's talk about this. Caffeine makes your thyroid condition far worse. If you have hyperthyroidism, just do your homework. Look it, look it up. It, it makes it worse. Caffeine is not a friend to your thyroid at all. Um, more importantly, caffeine is an anti-nutrient. Anti-nutrients block the absorption of minerals and vitamins. Okay? Big time. Caffeine is highly acidic. No, let me, let me, let me just make that. Coffee is highly acidic coffee and caffeine, and not even decaf doesn't exist. Caffeine is what is in coffee. Coffee is liquid caffeine. They're synonymous. They're one and the same, okay? Caffeine is in decaf as well, okay? And um, if you like strong bones, then you're going to want to avoid this for sure. Uh, the calcium, the osteoporosis connection, okay? Caffeine. Do your homework, please. You don't have to take my word for it. Get a VPN. You don't even need a VPN. Well, VPNs help because you're going to they're going to try to redirect you, okay? Caffeine. Caffeine does away. It, it blocks your absorption for, for calcium, okay? Caffeine blocks calcium absorption. Um, I was surprised at how much. Actually, I went back to, to research this, and I was actually surprised at, at, as to how much this happens. Research shows that the more caffeine a person drinks, the more calcium is actually excreted from the body. It is likely the acidity to it, and other things. It also blocks calcium. Caffeine is an anti-nutrient. Most of you have not heard of an anti-nutrient. There are foods in nature. There are substances in nature that are anti-nutrient. And one of the main mineral components in your bones is calcium and collagen. Okay? And ca just Google it if you don't believe me. Caffeine blocks calcium. Google it. Or Google, does caffeine block calcium? Okay. okay, you you can find that with the VPN if they don't if it doesn't redirect you. But go ahead, do your homework, please. All right, <clears throat> caffeine blocks calcium. Okay, yeah, caffeine can double the amount of calcium lost in your urine. That's right. I believe likely because it's acidic, it might do it by a backdoor approach. But the University of South Australia researchers, there was a research study on that, and not only that, it's kind of common knowledge. Okay, caffeine, you can it it, it removes it can do something to the calcium. It can block it. And not only that, but it also does it to uh, your collagen, okay? Again, Google it. Research it. Does caffeine block collagen production? Strap in your seatbelt, please. It does. Caffeine suppresses collagen production by preventing cell growth and interfering with the development of cartilage. I'm literally reading to you the studies, okay? Influence of caffeine and hyalur uh, the uh, hyaluronic acid on collagen biosynthesis in human skin fibroblasts. It's right there, okay? These are just the studies. It's right there, okay? But 
most don't care. They don't care what they do to their bodies. And I'm telling you that this is just, these are just reasons, okay? Uh, caffeine is an anti-nutrient, right? It does the same thing with magnesium. It does the same thing with uh, vitamin C, okay? Caffeine is not your friend. And I don't need to tell you how important vitamin C is. How about magnesium? You like to sleep? Look, I'm not being satirical, okay? I understand. Nine out of ten have their their cup without thinking about vasoconstriction, antagonizing adenosine receptors, uh, the world's number one neural stimulant. I mean, the big takeaway is this, okay? When, when you're doing something to affect your, your cerebral cortex, uh, dropping the blood flow to your brain by 40%, okay, Wakefield, Wake Forest Baptist Medical Center. It's right there. I have it in the, in the uh, description box. It was on the news. I'm giving to you common knowledge that's been lost in an ocean of, of lies and deception, and because everyone does it, yay. No, we are told to be good stewards over this body that, that, that Daddy gave us. All right, and then there's the gray matter. Gray matter in the brain is hyper important, especially to a healthy brain and central nervous system. You don't want anything affecting your gray matter, okay? It has a gray matter, has a large number, and that's a whole other thing. But basically, it's in charge of your movement in your memory. Do you like remembering things? How about emotions? Gray matter, you don't want to lose a fraction of that. We're talking about axion signaling and all of this. Please, friends, please. Um, please, they, they even associate this with intelligence, and there's studies with that as well. It's, it's not an accident. We live in a, a crazy, madhouse world of darkness. It's not an accident that, I, that everyone drinks caffeine, that they stuff this thing in supplements and powders and, 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 and just, it's everywhere. It's in, well, it's in soda. It's in, it's in, <laughs> caffeine is everywhere, okay? And coffee is the most potent form. Uh, what is it? Green tea, black tea, coffee, decaf. It's the most potent form of this psychoactive drug. The enemy doesn't want you being smart. He doesn't want you being intelligent. He definitely doesn't want you engaging in critical thinking. Okay? Critical thinking. That's the cerebral cortex. That's the gray matter. Okay? It's, it's, it's an assault on these things. I believe, not just, I believe, do your homework. I gave you enough information here to do your homework. Critical thinking. Okay? What I recommend is stopping caffeinated stimulants. It is pharmacia. All right, caffeinated beverages like coffee, decaf, green tea, black tea, you need to switch, especially if you're a wise virgin. Wise virgins are wise. Why would you deliberately drink something that is affecting your cerebral cortex, your gray matter, your central nervous system, okay, your calcium formation in your bones, vitamin C, all of these minerals, okay, that we need for hormone development and a good, healthy immune system, okay? Not only that, we're talking spiritual reality, okay? We're talking pharmakia, something we were told to come out of. Don't have any part of it. It's the Greek word, sorcery. All right, There are foods out there that can induce you into a spiritual state that's not good. It is pharmakia. We were told to come out of it. We were told not to have any part of it. All right, This is an elder warning. Love warns. This is, this is love. I'm warning out of love. I'm, I'm, I'm having a very, very hard time with my health. It is absolutely horrendous right now. I have no reason to lie or to lie. I'm giving you what I heard in my spirit. Warn them again about coffee. Warn them again about caffeine. Warn them again about pharmacia. I don't want to see it. It shouldn't be there. Warn them again. Well, Lord, no one's going to listen. Some will. All right. To the one, to the 10, to the 300 men who are listening, they're going to hear it. All right. They're going to listen. Okay. It matters to them. You go tell them, David. Okay. I'll tell them. All right, so I'm warning here. Share this to those who, to whom it applies. Hall of Fame. Wow. Yeah, that was my alarm in a way that is deeply surprising. I don't need to tell you that that is not just an accident. Anyways, that's kind of my confirmation, but wow. All right, here. Yeah, we're talking about the Hall of Fame top sins to avoid. Sorcery is in the Hall of Fame. Hall of Shame sins 
to avoid. You don't want to play around with it, okay? It's right there. It is pharmacia. You don't want to drink this material. Things that induce your brain, your spirit. You don't even know that it's happening, okay? This is why you have to keep coming back to it. It's not just a physical or emotional dependence. There is a spiritual dynamic to it. There's a reason why you feel good after consuming it. That's what stimulants do. They make you feel good so that you keep coming back. That's what nicotine does. Look, I don't need a cheese steak or a ribeye steak the same way people need their nicotine or their coffee. All right, we're talking spiritual. We're not just talking physical, right? And Daddy knows more than anyone because he can see it. He made everything. He knows what he's talking about. All right, just a warn, I, just a messenger. Okay, it's even in Revelation eighteen twenty three, for by your sorcery all nations were deceived. There are people getting hurt. What you, you think it's you think it's neutral? Blood flow to your brain being cut. By 40%? You think that's okay? No, not okay. Your brain connects to your toes. I don't need to tell you more than that. I'll let you fill in the blanks as to what happens when you continue to do this to your body. Okay? By 40%. Please. That's just the physicality of it, okay? I was told to warn. I'm fully aware that coffee is embraced by 99% of Christians. Come out of it. Not everyone is, in, is induced into this, this reality of inducing your brain and your central nervous system and affecting you and opening up doors that shouldn't be opened. It is pharmakia. We were warned not to do it. Okay? The great hordes, the great academic institutions, the people and, 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 the, and the powers that be will all tell you you can have as much as you want. 500 milligrams, 800 milligrams, 400. You can, oh, absolutely. It's, it's fine. Drink as much soda as you want to. I'm telling you that this thing is... Have you ever heard of this? Okay. Do you remember the commercials that told you that this was safe? Do you remember? Look it up. This was safe when it first came out. Everyone was doing it, okay? It's the same thing. It's the same thing. All they've done is flip the script. It's the same people saying that this is okay. Safe for you. Good. Meanwhile, you can't think the same that you used to think 20 years ago. Especially if you're consuming this. It's a... I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's, yeah, love warns. All right, Father doesn't want to see it. The world will be the world, okay? The world be the, will be the world. I'm talking to the church today. I'm talking to the bride. I'm talking to very, very special people that God has his hands on. I'm talking to you. He does not want to see his bride using psychoactive drugs. It is a psychoactive, world-class, stimulant drug. And it's in your food, and people are having it for breakfast every morning. And they can't break from it. It's the world's most used, domesticated, socially approved breakfast item that is addicting you. And it's opening you up to pharmacia, to sorcery, I'm telling you. If you're drinking this psychoactive liquid, it's not good. Messengers warn. Watchmen warn. He doesn't want to see it. All right? He doesn't want to see it. Judgment's here. Look at the news. You turn on what's going on in the world? Turn to the Lord. It's called reciprocity and reciprocation. Okay, I've been neutral on this, and I was surprised that, the, that Daddy wanted me to come out with this much information in regards to it. But maybe some of you needed to hear it. There are real physical and spiritual ramifications for using this food-based psychoactive drug. Real ones. He doesn't want to see it among his praying wise virgins who are seeking him and getting ready to get out of here. He doesn't want to see it. You're going to need to lay aside this weight, whoever you are. Pharmakia is not okay. You are hurting. I don't know any good parent. And God is a good parent. He was okay with his children hurting themselves. You're hurting your brain. Okay? Love warns. And no, 40% is unacceptable. And there is no, oh, I'm just going to hurt my brain, 10%. 5% okay. We're talking big numbers. You know, 30%, 40%. Hurting your brain, the blood flow. Your cerebral cortex, your gray matter, calcium deposits, blocking vitamin C, iron, magnesium, not good. Your, vi your B vitamins, forget about it. Anti-nutrients will do away with all of that. And yes, I could talk about this for two hours. This is what I used to do, okay? But this is just one part of what I used to do, okay? But Daddy told me to warn on it. And, you know, cerebral vasoconstriction. You don't want to be engaging in this every single morning. He's saying no more. The message is, put it away now, wise virgin. Put it away. You are now responsible for the information that you now have been warned with. Put it away. You can do that. Okay? Both nicotine and caffeine. 
damages your brain health, your critical thinking. Both of these. Nicotine does the same thing to your, your cerebral cortex. just hurts it in a, in, a, in a different way. These are almost twin chemicals that nearly do the same thing in the body. Not good at all. All right? So I've warned. Um, all right? Put this addictive drug, psychoactive, world-class stimulant away. It is a drug. That is the definition of it. That's not my opinion. That is the definition of it. Okay, put it away. It is harming your health. It is opening up that doorway of spiritual pharmacia. It is hyper-addictive, and there's many, many facets as to why you're going to want to put it away, especially to the fasting and praying wise virgins. Okay, he doesn't want to see it. It isn't neutral, not to Father, for ways that I'm sure, he, for reasons he has about that. I've, told, I've been told to warn on it a few times. And yes, there are withdrawal symptoms, and most of you can put this thing away like that. You're just doing it flippantly. It's not even a big deal. For, oh, yeah, I'm just doing it, you know, reducing the blood flow to my brain by 40%. Yeah, it's not that big. Put it away. It is a big deal. Put it away. All right, to those of you who might have a little bit of withdrawal from your morning addictive psychoactive liquid drug, which is the definition of it. I'm not being satirical. I'm literally giving you what it is. Uh, peppermint tea. Honeybush tea. These are caffeine-free, stimulant-free um, teas that you can enjoy. Liquids without calories. Uh, particularly really good on the fast. Peppermint tea, very good for the stomach. That'll help to detox the caffeine out of your system. Anyways, go for the organic. Honeybush tea, very rich in magnesium. Very, very good in trace minerals. Honeybush tea tastes great. Very, very good. But it has it's loaded with minerals. Red rooibos tea, very good. Caffeine-free. These teas are loaded with minerals, all right? There's even a, um, well, yeah, just go with the teas that don't have caffeine in it, okay? I've worn on it before. Alfalfa tea is another very good tea. Go for the organic. He does not want to see his church, his bride, engaging in cerebral vasoconstriction by a, by a factor of 40% because you can't break free antagonizing adenosine receptors. It's not good. Um... All it means is your blood vessels are constricting, okay? Think of it as a strong man tightening your blood vessels. Okay, that's going to have repercussions. Well, I don't feel that fig tree. It's happening regardless. There's a spiritual ramification behind taking a world-class neural stimulant, the most powerful one in the world. Coffee, I think only oil outbeats coffee in the marketplace. Oil trade. Coffee, it's a, it's a multi-billion dollar industry. The enemy wants the world addicted to his psychoactive drugs, one way or the other. The bride is a very small group, and he's calling her out. I'm going to leave it there. Be well in Jesus' name. I am going to have these articles, uh, not the articles that you could read. I'm going to have the, um, the videos in the description box. Please read about it. Wake Forest Baptist Medical Center. It's not just read about it, but it's right there in the description box. Give this video to those who need to know it. All right, because it's very important that you know what's going on in your body. MRIs don't lie. Now you are responsible for the information that you have. I'm hoping you choose to honor the Lord and reciprocate because your body is not your own. It's just not. You were bought with a price. And if he's calling you to clean up, to clean up the psychoactive drugs, addictive, world-class stimulants that will enslave you to it. Well, I've got this under control. Everything's fine. No, everything's not fine. He doesn't want to see it one one sip, one cup will change your brain. MRIs don't lie. I've been teaching this for years, but I've been holding this information back because I didn't think it was necessary. I didn't. Uh, you know, a couple of days ago, it's like, no, 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 they're going to need to know. They're not, they're not listening. You need to know. Now, now you know. Messengers warn, and I've warned. The rest of the uh, videos are in the description box. Visit the playlist. I have a playlist, uh, three or four videos on the playlist visit the playlist in the description box. It's the top three or four videos, right? As, a, as much information as I can give you on caffeine. Coffee is caffeine. They are the same thing. They even sound the same. Coffee is caffeine, okay? You don't want this drug in your body. God is calling his bride out of it. I was told to warn. This is me warning.